Our Lord and Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. For your word. Thank you, for your servant that you have been using. Thank you, Lord. He has been laboring. He has been giving all his word. And we thank God for his word that you have used to. To them you have used her. Yes. Father, I pray that as we want to go again into the last segment of this three days revival, we ask that you, you put into us your word in Jesus' name. Amen. Let the rema of your word do us good in Jesus' Amen. name. Father, every word that we have heard, we hear it to our good in Jesus' name. Amen. None of us we hear that the word that we have heard, we be condemned in Jesus' name. Amen. Every one of us that have heard the word we heard and the one we hear, we shall not be condemned. Amen. Amen. For the word of God will justify us. Amen. We instruct us. Amen. We bless us. Amen. We shape us. Amen. We fashion us. Amen. For his goodness and mercy to come upon us. Amen. Thank you for answer Amen. prayer. Amen. Destroy every power of hindrance. Amen. Destroy every power of limitation. Amen. Destroy every power of barrier. Amen. Let your goodness come down. Amen. Let your mercy come down. Amen. Let your favor come down. Amen. Let your blessing come down. Amen. And let us be a good. Amen. Forever and never. Amen. Bless the speaker, Lord. Amen. And bless the ear. Amen. And we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 I'm here to treat. Come, let's praise God. The I am that I am. The I am that I am. Amen. 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 So, uh, if you look at the invitation, you say that end of the year revival, I'm going to put it here. In there, you find that I say, Come and meet the I am that Amen. I am. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. At the upcoming Pentecost ministry, praise and revival, let us worship God together, thanking Him for the gift of salvation. Thanking Him for the gift of salvation. Pride this up, pride the same yesterday, today, and forever. And also, we share the work. Our pastor, Pastor Binda Oyewole, has been ministering on the scene. And they are doing very, very well. They are doing very, very well. And it's why I talk about uh, Christ the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. And then we want to talk about the I am. That I am. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. The I am the Father, into God the Father. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. But they are one. He was the one that go before the children of Israel. It called the consuming fire. Jesus right. Christ come behind the children of Israel. He is the rock that followed them. He was the rock that Moses touched and they drank. The Bible said they drank of that rock that followed them and that rock was Christ. And then we have the Holy Spirit that make it happen, that quickly the body. It was He, it was, it, it was, it is God that operates on time. He can bring the dead alive. Oh, yes. Yes. He, he, he make the dead to rise. Right. He, he made the blind to open, to see. Yes. So when this Christ said, Open. It was the quickening in the power of the Holy Spirit that performed that. Like you switch on your button in your in your bedroom and the light come out. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Ah, the first thing, please listen to me very, very well. The first thing I want you to know that all these messages and all these prayers tack to it come to one thing. It come to only the people that believe. Mm -hmm. Only the children of God. Mm -hmm. So if you are here, you have not saved. It's not about coming to church. Mm -hmm. It's not about reading the Bible. Mm -hmm. A lot of people read the Bible. They read it to their own destruction. Mm -hmm. A lot of people went to Bible school only to 
use the Bible school against God himself. Mm -hmm. It's true. Facts. When we are doing, uh, you know, a study group here, one of the instructors is, is, a, is a PhD in theology, and one of his, this is not even one of his men, he said some of them, some of these, they have church, they have church, they are operating a church, they are overseer, but they are all caught. They, are, they belong to brotherhood. Am I, am I the only one that had it? No. It was, it was saying here. These people went to Bible school to know from Genesis to Revelation. The funny thing is about the people that actually really give their life to Jesus Christ, but they have no interest about studying the world. And that is why a lot of people are being confused. And well, and the people of darkness, because they are smarter. The Bible said that they are wiser. The children of darkness, they are wiser than the children of light. It's written in the scripture. Somebody said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are the fact they take it very, very important to study what they will use against you. Mm -hmm. I are believing the Lord. My brother, my sister, it is a call for you to evaluate your life. Are you in Christ or are you in crisis? There is a lot of crisis in the world. The Bible says at the last day, the people that will have an inch in here, it's written in the scripture, because they will be lover of themselves. They are boasters. The, the perilous time will come. I pray that the Almighty God will save you today before you go in the name of the Lord. Amen. Amen. The greatest miracle, can you say after me? The greatest, the greatest miracle. miracle. I don't hear you very well. The greatest, the greatest miracle. miracle. Yeah. Anyone can ever receive is the service oh, yeah. of the soul. Oh, yes. yeah. So therefore, if you are not saved, please make sure you wrestle with God today. Fight the good fight of faith and say, God, just save me and save me now. Because tomorrow is not guaranteed. Tomorrow might be late. Psalm 95. One and two was the one where we are talking about. Oh, come, let's sing unto the Lord. Oh, come, let's sing unto the Lord. Only refer to the children of God. Yeah. If you are not a child of God, it does not refer to you. At all. Because the I am is an holy God. Yeah. <laughs> it's a terrible God. He ate and detests on holy things. But if you are ready to come to him, he's ready to wash all your sins away immediately with immediate effect. A worse criminal will come to Jesus Christ today and the blood of Jesus will wash him away from his sin. But Jesus Christ made a very good illustration for us, an example of a practical life. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't hear that hallelujah very well. Hallelujah. hallelujah. When they brought a prostitute, they caught her committing that act. Jesus Christ said, anyone that have never seen, because all of us have seen her before, right? It is Christ that saved us. Let him first cast the stone upon her. But no one was able because all of them are saying they actually caught that one. Hallelujah. So the left. Jesus Christ look at that woman. Woman, where are your accuser? Where is your accuser? He has gone. Oh the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And the woman said, Lord, I don't see it. Eh? No one condemn you. Neither do I condemn you. Now, what does that mean to you? It's telling you that in that thought, if you will allow Jesus Christ to come into your life today, Jesus Christ has not condemned you. But if you give your life, the day you give your life, and you deliberately give your life to Jesus Christ, a warning has been issued to you. Go and say no more. Can you say after me? Go and see. That word is for those people that have been washed, that have been forgiven, 
that have been saved are worthy as we give to you. So you can never be unequally yoked with an unbeliever. We and the world, we are not the same. Mm -hmm. We are not the same. World and you, you are just passing this world. Just as well as a foreigner. So, please and please, my brother and my sister, to make sure that you belong to the category of the people that come, let us praise the Lord. You have to know the Lord that you are called to praise. Let us make a joyful us unto the rock of our salvation. Rock of our salvation. Revive to Christ. Let us make a joyfulness to Him. Let us come before His presence with thanksgiving and make a joyfulness unto Him with sound. Let us come. And the first time we may say, Thank you for the service of my soul. See when people, when people that are saved or people, and some people <coughs> that take it as a tradition. Oh, I want to thank God for the salvation of my soul. Because that is the greatest miracle that you will actually receive. So, praising God the I am is a duty of the children of God. Only the children of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We need to praise God with an affection that is lively. We need to be excited. When we are praising God, you don't praise God, and then you are you 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 you, you, you look like anything unhappy. Somebody said Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says that Isaiah chapter thirty-eight, verse nineteen. The living, look at that. The living, the living, is shall praise thee. Who are the living? Number one, the living are those people that have been saved, mm -hmm. because. If you are not saved, you are dead when you are alive. Yeah. Yeah. And only the living are the people that Jesus Christ gave his own life. Because only the living that Jesus Christ gave life and he died for them. Those are the people that are supposed to praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. They are praising as I do this day. You will do today and you will praise the Lord because the Almighty God will save you. Amen. The Father do to the children shall make known the truth. In other words, you as a father, you have and you must Teach your children to give their life to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, what I'm doing now as an angel in this church was that anybody that come here, I let them know about the law and the truth about his word. And that my duty is to speak his word. And the duty of the people is to hear the word and choose which way they will go. I have led before you life and death, but I persist you. I beg you that you choose life, that you are, that you might live. It is those people that are alive that can praise God. When somebody dies, he can't praise God no more. But I have a good news for anyone that is saved, that when you die, you will rise up again, and you shall praise the Lord forever. That is our duty. The angel is heaven that are alive with Christ. They praise him every day. Amen. You will join them one day, but God will give you long life in Jesus' name. Amen. And I believe you need prosperity too, right? Yes. So God will supply it to you. Amen. But I bet you, I'm not going to the teaching of prosperity as you know that this is what was what I actually taught about that very well. Somebody said, hallelujah. Yes. We need to teach our children that God is good to be praised. Amen. Psalm 92, verse 1. It is good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto the name 
Oh, So it is a good thing. It is a good principle to adopt, to be able to give praises unto God. It is also common to know that have good relationship with God, to praise God in all time, or at all time. Even in the most talented time, those people that have relationship with God, they praise God, which I am employing you right now to join the army of those people that will praise God in everything. Amen. Job chapter 1, Job chapter 1, from verse 20 to 21, two verses there, the Bible says that Job arose, Job arose, and right is not to. Is it on the on the on the on the board? Yes. Okay, let's read it together. Then Job arose and rent his mantle and shaved his hair and fell down on the ground. Now, look, hold on, hold on, hold on. On, on the ground. Command the right. Now he rose up. He wore he rent his garment and what? Shave his beard. Preparing. And what does he do? When he do that? And what, what does he do? Uh-huh. And say. And worship God. He worship. He worship. Somebody that has your heart. The Bible says, if you go for that, I'm not going there. You say what he was afraid of came to him. Unrespected. And here was somebody that God loved. So you don't know the love of God when you look at something around you and some people have they run from God that loves them. Because you don't have relationship. I pray that the salvation of God will come to you today in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. He wants you. First, let's go 21. And say, Let's say it together. And say, Aha. I want to be no see pastor. I didn't know that. Amen. They keep from long message to be heard. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, let's read it together. And say, Make it. I am not that soon. And make it shall I return till that. You see. It is good for you to powder your face, put on good clothes. I'm telling you, kiss it, mm. box. And you, the funny thing is that you are a dust. Mm. 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 Dust. Mm. Asses to asses. Mm. Dust to dust. I pray that it will not be too late Amen. for you to know that giving your life to Jesus and do what God has you to do is the greatest achievement you ever achieve. And you will be remembered by what you have done. I pray salvation will hit you. Amen. Amen. I came out of my mother's womb, and naked shall I return to that. The Lord, ready together, and the Lord has taken away. What does he do? Blessed be the name of the Lord. How many people can say that? We are talking about those people that have relationship with the God. The greatest achievement, my brother, my sister, is to be in the Lord. And in God, you will stand tall Amen. in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. We need to teach that it is good to praise God in everything. God should be worshipped in sober reflection of his sovereignty. We call him suffering. The I am that I am is a suffering God. He does what pleases him. But I want to tell you that the thought that he had for you and me, especially for those people that trusted in him, if you trust him, God got your back. His thought always good. He never make mistake. Jeremiah chapter 17. 
verse 7 and 8. Jeremiah 17. Verse 7 and 8. The Bible says, Blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord. Blessed. Now, what does that mean? He has commanded his blessing. The Bible says, Forever, O Lord, your word is settled. You don't need it to pray. Let me tell you something. You don't need to pray to be blessed when the word of God has become your lamp and light. When you are in the world and your life can reflect the word of God. My brother, you are already blessed. Because it's what says, oh, blessed is the man that trusted in the Lord. Whose hope is what? Is in the Lord. For it shall what? be as a tree planted by the water. Let's read to that. It's on the board. And that spread out her roots by the river. And shall not see when, the, when it cometh, but a leaf shall be green. Your leaf shall be green in the name of the Lord. Hey, hey, hey. The genesis is that the person has given his life to Jesus, he trusted in the Lord. Mm. The Bible says, you will not feel the heat when it's coming. Mm. And there are heat in this world. Oru, Owalaye, Owayo, ni mo. Amen! Owayo, ni kolu o. Amen! There are heat. But the Bible says, he cannot feel, he will not feel the it. But her lips shall be great. Somebody say, my lips shall be great. My lips shall be great. Shall be great. Shall be great. And shall not be all. Look at that. Eric, you are reading Louder, let me hear. I, I shall, shall not be what? Careful in the year of war. Uh huh. Neither shall he see from evening fruit. Look at that word. Look at that word. Somebody that trusted the Lord. The Bible says, No eat, it will be green. And when the Bible says somebody will be green, it will be green. And shall not be careful in the year of drought. Meaning that. In the, when other people are saying there is nothing, you don't, you don't feel it. Amen. Because God was his own blessing. Amen. If you don't believe me, go and have brother Joseph. He will tell you. The Bible says everything he does, mm. he prosper. Mm. He prosper. You don't believe me, go and have brother David. He will tell you, in the presence of my enemy, he will have not my head. I believe was a pastor that was saying, on the first day, about uh, Mecca, Ma Micah, the daughter of uh, Saul, and said that it is, you know, look at this king, the king, he said, that God that prefer me than your father. He, this king, Saul, want to have David, want to kill David, but still, God preserved David until, until Saul came to his he says, I say, ah, David, you are what? You are better than me. Who make it better than him? God. Because he trusted in the Lord. How will a young boy face Goliath? How will a young boy face lion? Well, how will he give that testimony? Why even King, the man of war, was running away? The Almighty God will beautify your life. Amen. Amen. They are not afraid in the time of God at all. You will not afraid in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Don't forget that all this applies to those people that are saved. When you come to worship God, come with a heart of gratitude. I want you to preach to your somebody by your side. My brother, my sister. When you come to worship God, come with an attitude of what? Of gratitude. Now, we should humble ourselves before the Almighty God. Reference God in your worship. Psalm 95, 6. Oh, come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord, our Maker. How do you know that your worship and praises will be accepted? It is very simple. Obey God from your heart. And I want you to write that one down. For your worship, for your praises to be acceptable, very simple. Very simple arithmetic. Obey God from your heart. 
when you hear his voice from your heart. Because it's the heart that might have problem. Now, people can laugh with you, people can sleep with you, people can talk with you, but they may not be with you. So it's made with God. If you say you love God, where is God honor? If you don't obey his word. I pray the Almighty God to help us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Psalm 95. This is very, very critical. In our text, first service, this is very, very critical because there is a secret that was embedded in that verse. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. It was saying that the seven and uh, uh, one to six, seven, eight, but when it got to seven, B, the last sentence of verse seven, that was a very secret that was hidden. Maybe for the unbeliever. And that is why you see many unbelievers, after they must finish their alcohol. Hallelujah. Amen. Let them handle butter, or let them handle drum, or let them handle that. And for some churches, we stood so low, we begin to hire a smoker to go and beat our big drum. Because some member will not go to a church that they will not beat the drum. And I don't know if you put Hello? Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> yeah, I know that you are a child of God because you are coming to Pentecost ministry. Amen. And Pentecost ministry will always speak the word. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But it is in our hearts that they borrow our 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 prime master and they are willing to return him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Glory be to God that we have a lad in this church Amen. that was uh, filling the gap. Mm. Maybe it's your son. Thank you for my dear son. I saw him yesterday. <laughs> And the children department have made an inquiry that I already approved and granted. Amen. All these young ones are supposed to be trained Amen. with Misuka instruments. Amen. And the church have to stand up for it. Amen. Somebody say we are able. Our mother and heaven. Our mother and heaven. This is our glory. Oh, yes. This is our glory. Okay. This is our glory. Okay. So, let's read it together. For, For he is our, our God, God, and we are the people of his pasture. Only if you look out. And the children of his pasture. Uh-huh. So, today, if you hear his word. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. What he was saying from verse 1 to 7 a, the secret is there. Only if we hear his voice. If we hear his voice. And his voice said, Come unto me, all you that labor, and every lady, and I will walk, I will give you rest. Hallelujah. Amen. So you have to know Christ's voice. And if you don't know or you don't identify Christ's voice, ask him to speak to you. Because you just need that voice that will convince you that you are a sinner. That will convince you that you are not equal to the third. That you need Christ in your life to be able to make it in life. And I pray the Almighty God will speak to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Because you need it. And for you to praise God that your praise will be acceptable, you need to know Christ himself. Ah, John chapter 9, verse 31. The Bible says, Now we know that God let not sinner. Hello? Tell me, come on, talk. If somebody is deceiving you, they need your money. One for who? One for who? One for who? <laughs> I, I had, I had, I had, and I saw it on the Facebook. A church was born down in Akure. It was a very big church. Yeah. Uh, the pastor barely, uh, it was a one-year-old uh, boy, he buried it at the altar. Look at it. But they were going there because they want people to see. They want only to leave. I want to go. And I told you, don't be Mugun. <laughs> Listen to what I'm telling you, the word of God. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the word of God. It's not my opinion. It's the word. I borrow me. Hello. It's the word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Can't they 
Because of his obedience. What is holiness? Holiness is obeying God's word. There's nothing apart from that. So if you are still struggling with any part of the scripture because of your hierarchy, because of your education, something is wrong somewhere. That's not if you like to Jesus. Because there's nothing God cannot take away from you. It's nothing, 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 and nothing at all. Not in this life, not in the life to come. Paul said. What will separate me from the love of Christ? Tribulation, famine, nothing. Thing present, evil, angel, and not. There is somebody 
that know is God. And those that know that God is a strong and do exploit. The eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ear are open though. The ear of the Lord will be open to you in Jesus. Hey, hey, you will give your life to God today in Jesus. Hey, hey, hey. Unto their prayer. Look at that. But the face of the Lord. Everybody. Because today the Lord will change your life for better. Amen. Amen. It's against them. That be evil. And evil is simple as this. Rebelling against the Lord. Mm -hmm. As simple as that. Hebrew chapter 3. We are reading, put it on the screen, 6 to 15. We are reading it together. The Bible says, But Christ, as a son over his own house. That's why the Bible says in this word, Concerning my son, and concerning the work of my hand, just come at me. He's a son in his own house, in the church. Who how? We, who are those we? The people, uh, uh, now you are frightened now. Hallelujah. <laughs> who are we? The people that are giving their life to Christ. The church. That the gate of hell will not prevail. It's not the video. It's not the name of the church. One in this the, uh, the, uh, ministry, another one in the ministry. Those are the church. The church that God acknowledged that God know. The Bible says gates. Of hell shall not prevail. They are the church. They are his own. They are the whole and Christ as a son in her church, in her own house, in the house of God. Whose house we are. We are built one after the other. Maybe I am in the Kokose. My brother is in the Hanku. Show me your Kokose. Ah, I want to go. I want to go. Hallelujah. Samaba. Hallelujah. Ah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yeah. Who else are we? We are the church of God. If we hold fast the confidence and the rejoicing of the old farm. Unto the end, those people that stay put in the house of God forever, to the end, until they give up the ghost, they join the triumphant church. Let's read it together, verse 7. Wherefore, as the Holy Ghost said, today, what today? Today, today, today. Today, if you are, if you hear my voice, as he was saying to them, then it's still today, today, Christ the same. Yesterday, Christ the same, today. And forever, because it's a son in his church. Yeah. He stay put, and we are his body. Somebody shout hallelujah. If we hear his voice today, we hear his voice, and, and then go, I not your ear. Which part of his or are here? I did not. I did not see your heart. I did not see your heart. I want to be no one person. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Have you not your heart? And in the pro as in the provocation in the day of what? Temptation. That was the children of Israel. When they provoke God to our hunger. The evil sentence Moses because of their attitude. Now, ah, let's go for that. Let's go for that. Oh yeah, let's it off. Let's it off. In the war, in the, in the way that is. Way that is. Let's go. Where is your, your father? father? Now, these are the children of God. Like you are among the children of God if you give your life to Jesus Christ. As many as believe me, give them far to become the son of God. I don't want you to provoke God. When God speaks and you refuse, you refute his word, you provoke God. Mm -hmm. And God is angry. And that's why some people are sentenced. They are sentenced. Mm. And they say, where is my deliverance? Because of rebellion. Let's go. Because when you are, Father, tell me, prove me and saw my worth 40 years 
Wherefore, I was grieved with that generation and said, They do always err in their heart. That's why I say, from your heart. Don't care for your heart. If you don't care for your heart, you are a successful person. Let's go for that. And they have not known my way. So I swear that what? That they will not enter into my rest. Let's go for that. Let's go for that. Take ye, brethren, lest there be a heavy of you an evil act of unbelief. What does he call it? An evil act of unbelief. So now you know that if you don't believe the word of God, it's an evil heart. It's not only people that kill. It's not only the people that commit uh, fornication or adultery. People that have unbelief, don't believe the word of God. You have an evil heart. That heart must be changed. And let's go in departing from the living God. Now the church has is because of the now. Our number is the only author. People are and calling and because people people now make a church a stadium where people can just and they just about God, they just about Holy Spirit, they just about Jesus Christ, and you are laughing, including their pastor. And they begin to laugh, and they begin to laugh the pastor and begin to laugh his uh, word of wisdom and uh, ah, the message and the message of pastor. So how do you want people to be saved? People are begin to pro now look at me. If you have a problem in believing God, you have not saved. You have no relationship with him at all. You need to settle your case with God today. Let's go for that. But exalt one another. Then he is called today. He is called today. Let any of you be what? Had it through the deceitfulness of sin. Had that unbelief. Had that you actually committed. It. It's all our sin. Let's go. For we are made partaker of Christ. If we were, if we hold the beginning of our conversion, serve us unto the end. If you are not to Jesus Christ and you vastly dead, you have not done the right thing. Today, God is calling you. Why it is said, today, if you will hear his voice, Having of your heart as in the day of provocation. Somebody shout hallelujah. Let me bring this to an end because I'm watching my time. Moses, a man of God, was a man that God loved very well. Very, very anointed. Well. God said, I've been having a prophet. Moses, my servant, is different. Mm. He's a very unique person. He said, I talked to a prophet in dreams. It's written in the book, in yes. the world. I, yes. you know, I talked to I talked to them in dreams, or so them in the vision. But my servant, Moses, is what? I converts with him face to face. But with all his relationship, now this was this very well. With all his closeness with God. God said something to him because of the rebellion of the children of Israel. He was so mad and so raged with them because the Bible said they strove, they strove. They are fighting. They were fighting. The Bible said Moses reported the children of Israel that they almost stole me and they respected them. Moses said, why? Because they were thirsty and their animals were thirsty. They said, why do you leave us? Why do you take us from Egypt? Look at this. <laughs> I don't want to call them fool. So, now, Moses, the servant of God. God told me, when you get there, I will stand there by the rock. Touch the rock. But when you get there, him and he run. He said, hey, hey shall, shall we take water out of this rock for you? The Bible said, hey, bah, hey, bah, with hunger. And God saw his heart. My heart is very important. And God said, okay. The Bible said, what I got shot. But God sent us him. God sent us him. God sent us him. He said, oh, yeah. He will not get to Ghana. He will not get to Ghana. He will not get to Ghana. That is the God I am. It's a, it's a God 
that exalt his word. You don't need to argue with him. If you are still arguing with him, you are mad with him, you need to pray, Father, break me down. I need to be broken. I just need to surrender everything. My totality to you. There is nothing that is too difficult for me just for your own good. Don't provoke God with your weakness or wrong attitude to the word of God. Do not. Very dangerous. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. When it was about to go, it was telling the king of Israel. Deuteronomy. 3. 23 to 28. And then after that, we stand up and then we we'll pray. Sing to God and go. Put it on the screen. 3. Ah, 23. Not able. Not able. Deuteronomy 3. From verse 23 to 3. To 28. Okay, let's go. Let's read together. And I besought the Lord at that time, saying, O oh Lord God, thou hast begun to show thy servant thy greatness and thy mighty hand, for what God is there in heaven or in earth that, that can do according to thy work and according to thy mind. He was, he was praising God, right? He was, he was anointing God. And he knew how to do that. He was doing that for years and years. And God always reciprocates. And God, he, that was the time he said, God, I want to see you. He asked that. And God said, Moses, I had the heart. Nobody sees me and leave. And then you have to go with me like you know. <laughs> but one thing I will do is that there is a place in me where you can walk. Right, you can lie. So go to the rock. Go to the rock. This is Jesus Christ. Let's go to the rock. Let's, let's go to the rock. Hallelujah. But when I'm passing, and my bag will see you. I will allow my goodness to pass over. The goodness of God will pass over you. Hey, First and let's go over that. I pray thee, let me go over and see the good land that is beyond Jordan, that that good that goodly mountain and Lebanon. But the Lord was wrought with me. For your sake. And that's why I'm begging all you children of God in pain because I don't want to go to hell because of you. I don't. I do not. And the greatest achievement that I will achieve then on earth is for you to give your life to Jesus. Genuinely, truthfully, because I will see you. Amen. But if you do not, not that only you will provoke God, you will provoke my spirit. Because I bear his mark. A general pastor won his or a member to be saved. Amen. That is my prayer. That is my prayer. So if you are coming to this church, they must know that you are coming to a Bible believing church because people must see the fruit. Let's go for that. And the Lord said unto me, Let it suffice thee. Speak no more unto me of this matter. Mm. It's, a, it's a dumb deal. Prayer cannot solve it anymore. Mm. When God make his decision and the life, eventually, either. Mm. An unbeliever or believer that hair is final. It takes only the masses of Christ. And that's why the Bible says, with Holy Spirit, they are interceding for us. Jesus said, Peter! Peter! Enemy want to ship you like a weed. Well, so I prayed for you. The Christ that prayed for me, I will pray for you. Amen. So, 27. Get thee up into the top of Pisgah and lift up the, the highest eastward and westward and northward and southward and eastward and behold it with thy eye, for thou shalt not go over this over this Jordan. Twenty-eight, the last verse. 
but charge Joshua and encourage him and strengthen him for he shall go over before the people and he shall cause them to inherit the land which thou shalt see. The least thing I can do for you is for you to see afar off. Oh, you love me? That will not be your love in Jesus. Let us stand up. I don't want you to come to this program and say, I visited, I was there. But you are not enjoying the 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 blessing of it. That will not be your lot in Jesus. Hey, somebody say in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I give my life unto you, Lord. I give my life unto you, Lord. Come into my life. Come into my life. And do a surgical operation. And do a surgical operation. Anywhere that I've heard. Anywhere I've heard. That I've lived in error. That I've lived in error. Let the blood of Jesus Christ let wash me. Save me, Lord. Save me, Lord. And save me now. Save Open me your mouth and tell it to the Lord. Tell it to the Lord. Tell it to the Lord. The compassion of the Lord fail not. They are new every morning. Father, we are here today, Lord. Save each and every one of us today. Father, write our name in the book of life. What also, Lord, anywhere that you have heard, either in your world, either in deed, either in action. Oh, Lord God Almighty, have mercy on every one of us today. Father, have mercy on me, Lord. Have mercy on my wife, my children. Have mercy on every trial. Have mercy on every usher. Have mercy on every man and woman in this world. Please watch us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And in Jesus' name we are praying. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are here and you know that you have a spirit of rebellion, you just know that when somebody is talking about the word of God, it is very grievous for you. Sometimes you are hungry. Sometimes you rationalize. Sometimes you make excuses. And sometimes you justify yourself. It's a demonic spirit. You need God to help you. The Bible says, afar off, you look at the proud, but you give grace to the humble. You ask, say, in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, come into my heart. Father, come into my heart. Every high places. Every high places. That the devil have erected. Oh Lord, by the power of your word. Oh Lord, by the power of your word. And of the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord of Jesus. Oh yeah, remove every building of the enemy. Every building of the enemy. Oh yeah, don't break the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My heart, I can't let you go. My heart, my heart. Father, we commit this to you. Lord of Jesus. Lord of Jesus. Break that down. Every high building of the heaven that they have selected in our heart that we are not able to surrender our life to the Lord of the Almighty. Every 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 Lord of the Almighty. The last prayer you will pray. If you are here, you know, you look at the people that are beautiful in the house of God. And I, ah, God, I wish I can be like them. You can be like them. What they have is grace. And I don't want you to miss you that great because he's here today. You say, Father, Father, you that have been helping the people before me. You that have been helping the people before help me. Help me. So that I can be useful for you. So that I can be useful. Show me your way, Lord. Show me your way, Lord. And let me follow so. Open your mouth and pray that name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Lord, Father, I pray for you. 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 Father, I pray Father, use us, O Lord, for your way, for your glory. Show us your way. Show me your way, Lord, more and more. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Santa Carla, Yelibaha, and in Jesus' name, we are blessed. Amen. Uh, so, so, where can you come forward? We want to sing that song to praise the Lord. Our hymn. That's what we're going to sing. To praise the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. I commit your children into your hand. 
Come now and let us praise the Lord. Amen. Father, we pray that this team shall forever be remembered Amen. in our life. Amen. That you will change us from what we used to be Amen. to what you want us to be. Amen. You will do a surgical operation Amen. Amen. in our heart, Amen. in our soul, Amen. in our spirit, Amen. and in our body. Amen. Every deposit of demons in the name of or the devil, in the name of Jesus. every iota of unbelief and doubt to the word of the living God, every power of laziness, every power of ingrateful, uh, of ingrate, every power of ungrateful, every power of pride, every power of arrogance, every power of heresy, Lord God Almighty, by your power in your world, Father, remove it in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we stand upon rock of ages yes, and we bring down every high mountain Amen. before us. Amen. Like you brought the mountain before Zerubale down. Amen. You brought the wall of Jericho down. Yes, Father, bring down every one of the devil in our heart in the name of the Lord Jesus. From today we receive our deliverance. Amen. From today we receive our salvation. Amen. From today we need our sanctification. From today we receive our broken. Amen. From today we need our faith. Amen. From today we need our righteousness. Amen. From today we need our faith. Amen. And from today we receive our blessing. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. Thank you for answering our prayer. Amen. Let our praise be accepted. Amen. Forever and ever. Amen. Let your child begin to work stronger Amen. and stronger. Amen. Those people that you are using this. Revival, you never in Jesus. Yeah. By next time we shall have this kind of revival. Yeah. We want testimony to be to be to be to be to be to, to increase and increase and multiply the level of the Lord. Yeah. That good thing that you desire for each and every one of us shall be manifest yeah. in our life in the name of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Shall be manifested in the name of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. Shall be revealed in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you for answering. Amen. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.